Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So we're on day two of our Pinterest graphics challenge. And today we're going to be looking at um, what kind of images or videos, sometimes it might be a video, um, people are doing that are showing up on Pinterest. Now, one thing I want to really focus on with you is we are not looking at your Pinterest account. I don't care how your Pinterest boards are set up. What we're looking at for this challenge is how to make pins that Pinterest will like that will help us to sell more on Etsy or eBay or Shopify or wherever we're selling, right? It doesn't matter where we're selling. So I started with, so for me, I'm going to be making my pins about my digital planners and my digital worksheets because I've been a slacker and I need to work on that. So what I want to do is I want to kind of look and see what is showing up. So like the planners printed out for sure. That's a paper planner. Okay, here's a disc planner. Here is a template. I kind of feel like I said paper planner, but I'm almost thinking I I need downloadable planner. Downloadable. Nope, downloadable planner. Okay. Uh, downloadable planner. I don't want free because I'm selling mine. Okay, so here we have where it's kind of each page laid out. That one was a little bit of a, a mover, but not very much. It's showing, oh, each page maybe? That's nice. Um, promoted. Okay, so this is what I want to see. So even though this is a free planner, this she is paying to promote this. So um, anytime we can find something promoted, that's good because we know that there's commercial intent. Commercial intent means that somebody is doing something to make money doing it. And ours is, we don't care about having the prettiest pins or the best pictures. We want to get people to our link to purchase, not just to save our pin because it's a pretty pin. We'll talk about more about that as we look through some of these. Okay, so I see a lot of where they have all the pages of the planner. Um, let's see, goal planner, digital planner, right? And there's a lot of Etsy here, so I'm very excited about it. Okay, here we go. Embark Weekly Planner. So we see a lot of commercials um, on this planner page, which is really, really good. I also see a lot of things unavailable on Etsy, which is also nice. <laughs> so that means my competition is getting lower. Okay, so now let's look at wall art because we're going to do handmade artists, wall art. Maybe you're doing a digital, but maybe you're doing a real one. So here, I want you to be very careful. See these ones that have a number on them? So that one says six, that one says six, that one says five. Those are stories like on, on Facebook where you have a number of pictures. And it seems like a really good idea to do, right? Because they're showing up at the top. But the problem with stories is you cannot include a link to them. So what that means is you're going to do all this work to make all these pictures. You're going to get lots of views. You're going to get maybe lots of saves and nobody's ever going to come to your store. So we need to look at Walmart. Like, so they're actually showing that wall art in a room, which you can do. Um, I'll show you how to do that with, um, with uh, templates for you guys. Uh, there we go. Digital Boho Museum Quality David Bowie Canvas Print. So that's in a room. Okay. That's not us. So that's in a room. So it looks like if you're going to sell wall art, you're going to have to put it on some kind of room... Uh, illustration now let's do another one for our handmade sellers let's say knit hats right because you guys are such a such a strange bunch 
Okay, so knit hats. Okay, so that's a video, Chunky Etsy Slouchy Beanie on Etsy. Good. So knit hat videos. Okay, here's one where you can at least see your hand in it. Chunky Cable. So that's an Etsy one. All right, that's a video. Oh, free crochet pattern, we don't want that. Sorry, it's kind of getting darker and lighter. I got my, um, cave, my plug is a little wonky today. All right, let's see, what else can we see? There's that chunky hat, they love her video. I don't want patterns. Okay, so let's go up, and i seen this thing. Do, 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 do. Shop on Pinterest, knit hats. So let's shop on Pinterest. So people in, in a um, lifestyle photo, those are patterns. We don't care about patterns. This is lifestyle photo. It's a bunch of them, so you could send that to your Category page on your shop uh, on people, so you can't really just have your knit hat on the ground very much, right? And this is promoted on a cute girl. Okay, so this is what you want to do for yours. Now we're going to go to vintage jewelry. Okay, so this is a promotion. So this is very plain right just on a board with some pearls on it but it's a lifestyle photo um vintage inspired rings watch out for the ones that have numbers on them do not do that do not look at those because if you look at those then you'll start to see lots of them in your feed too um okay so this looks like that is a shop and that Okay, so it is almost white, but it has a little bit of lifestyle in there. This is, okay, so what I want you guys to see is you hear all the time how you want to have um, on a white background, but none of these promoted ones have them on a white background. They have at least a little bit of something, something going on. There's Etsy, there's a video. Yay, that's easy to do, right? Watch out for the for the num ones with numbers. Okay, this is just on a like a marbly background. So you could go with that. Here's on a white cloth. Okay, so you guys need to have something going on with your pictures for your sale ones, right? And last but not least, we have craft supplies. That's our fourth category of um, things you can sell on Etsy. So notebook tags antiques. So that's a lifestyle photo. They've printed them out. There is, we don't want free. We don't want free. Zazzle, so that's paper. Those are printable. Uh, so we want paper, ephemera. Okay, here we go. This is a lifestyle one where you can see all of the paper ephemera. So it looks like they like it all stacked up, showing how much you're going to get. Oh, there's eBay, right? So there's like a nice little pack. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, so this is this is mixed media greeting cards on a wooden board. Okay, so I feel like we need a little bit of lifestyle pictures. We need um for wall art, you need to do a um where you have it on the wall, show it in a lifestyle picture. Um, so none of us can really do 
Oh, here's <laughs> here's a screen capture of my printable without doing a little work on it. So we'll keep that in mind as we start um, getting ready to make our our pins. But what I want you to do for today's uh, challenge homework is to look at video or look at pins, whether they're video or lifestyle, not stories that are commercial intent that are going to Etsy or eBay or, you know, this one has uh, JC Penny and find out what type of pictures you're going to be needing to make. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.